Okay, so what uh, we have going on here uh, today, this is a 2001 Ford Mustang. Um, I'm having a crank no start issue. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to check the the uh, fuel pressure. Right now I have the battery disconnected. Right now the fuel pressure is about 15 PSI. I'm going to go ahead and connect it and then crank the engine a few times and we'll see how far this pressure, the pressure uh, builds up. Right now it's at 15 PSI so uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect the battery and then we'll see where it's at today. Hopefully the car starts. I changed out my idle air control, my idle air control valve so maybe that might fix the problem. Okay, so Got one channel connected here. Okay. okay. Battery is on. Uh, I also have a um, scan tool in the car so I'm going to get a reading from an electrical device and a I'm not really sure what you want to call this it's just a regular fuel pressure gauge so I'm going to be getting a reading from both let's see the uh, difference from both um, the fuel pressure gauge and the scan tool so We'll see what's up. Alright, so for right now, so for right now I'm at 35 PSI off this gauge here, I'm going to check with the scanner. Moving the camera to show the um, scan tool here. So there's a quick test result. And as always, I got a P1000 now.
Not really sure I've done a quick test result before, but everything seems to be cleared, I guess. I'll go through the list one more time. Now, what I've done to this engine is I changed the intake manifold and ever since I've done that I have had um, a no start vehicle cranks but no start issue here I also don't have um, coolant in the engine I'm kind of thinking that the vehicle will start without a uh, without the coolant but I'm thinking maybe I need to have the coolant but maybe um, I'll figure that out later so my absolute throttle possession sensor is 16 coolant well, the temperature is reading 86 mass airflow is 39 intake air temp is 90 Short term fuel trim is 52, bank 2 is the same. Long term fuel pressure is at 33. Let me see where the gauge is reading. So 33. Fuel pressure is 33 on this scan tool and on my fuel pressure gauge is actually reading exactly the same. The last time I did this, it was off. There was a difference, but since this time I put a Teflon tape, I used a pretty good amount of it. This time on all the threading and all the connections points, so it matches up now I have a brand new battery this time so let's see what we get here. I'm going to crank the vehicle. See what we get. Shut up. Forty seven. Right. Forty six. Now the fuel pressure will drop. It does drop, but it doesn't seem to be really fast, so I'm not losing any fuel. I have no fuel leak in the system. So it seems to be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and crank it now. Okay. Hurry up. Oh my god. Come on. All right.
Just love it. So fuel pressure is 47. Both scan tool and fuel pressure gauge. So it's that's good. Now like I said, one thing I also need to do is maybe add coolant. I have a little bit in there, but I need to fill the system up. I don't know if that has anything to do anything to do with the um the no start I doubt it but I'm gonna go ahead and test the rest of the um, the fuel system my fuel pump is working because at least I have fuel pressure so that's a good thing all right well that's gonna be it for this video